Hey everybody, welcome back. Today we're going to do issue two of Vanity by uh, Black Caravan. Uh, made by, I mean, the cover is by uh, Joseph Schmalke. And the uh, writer and artist is uh, Yuri Kirnev and Natalia Tsarevnikova. I hope I said that correctly. So yeah, this is the, uh, the epic, well, <laughs> no, 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 let me repeat that. The Bloody Tale of Countess Elizabeth Baffery. And this... Uh, comic continues and the time is flowing constantly in this book and now we see her in his teenage years so let's dive in so we see her having a intercourse or you know being intimate with uh, with a person and i believe she was a virgin here well not anymore uh, because you see that she has some blood on her dress and um so this guy says what if um ferenc or ferenc Ferenc, not sure if I'm saying that correctly, that's her husband. And I believe he is a baron or a some kind of a, I don't know, um, um, lord. Not entirely sure, I, I forget, sorry. And um, she says, um, well, he won't. And she, so she's going, kissing him goodbye. And then we see this, how do you say, sperm cells. And uh, she's going outside burning the dress. But we also see this. Now, this is a very cool shot. I mean, you can you should read the whole, you know, the continuation of this particular, uh, uh, how do you say, uh, event. No, it's not an event. Um, the storyline here from here and then from top to the bottom. But this you can read from left to right. And now why am I saying that? Because it's here as well with the development of the, of the child. That's really cool. I'm not sure if that's deliberate or that you can, you know, that people just, hey, you can make a choice. You can read it from the top. I mean, that's the storyline. But this you can read from left to right. That's genius. <laughs> I like that very much. So this mate, this, yeah, handmaiden, if you can call it that. She says, when was the last time you lost blood? And so she figured that out. She has been uh, unfaithful to the Lord. Uh, she says, please beg you, don't tell Ferenc. He's your fiance, fi sorry, he's your fiance, fiance, fiance. He must know, such an unspeakable shame. You are unmarried and God will punish you for that. So she's begging her not to tell him, but he, well, she tells him and he's coming to this room and he says, uh, is it true? It's Laszlo, isn't it? So he goes to Laszlo and... Uh, yeah, in this time period, people are not getting off with a warning. They're getting punished. <laughs> so uh, he's, I don't know, a smith or something. And uh, he says, you dishonored my bride, you dirty pig. I feed my dogs with your balls. <laughs> he cuts his dick off or he's injuring him. And he's, you know, chaining up him to a, to a pole. <laughs> and then these dogs come and he's, he's eating him in the life. Oh, my God. What a way to go. Uh, sorry, it's a little bit dark in here, so forgive me. And uh, but Elizabeth is is mad that her lover is now dead, and she's punishing the handmaiden that <laughs> that ratted her out. And she says, "But I acted according to Christian virtue." <laughs> so he cuts her eye out, and she says, "Impale her," <laughs> and that's exactly what she's doing. It's gruesome. If one tries to take her down, he'll be next. <laughs> oh man, no, uh, just. Yeah, there's no um, no messing with her. But then we see something like this. And I I really um, looked at this for a couple of seconds, for maybe a half a minute. I think this is really, really well done. Um, I, this is pure symbolism, I guess. Uh, so maybe this, I mean, this shape here and then Elizabeth in her and then in her, the child. Maybe it's symbolism women or fertility, or women giving giving birth, or that the women are, I don't know, responsible for giving life in this world. I'm not entirely sure, but I think it's it's really well done. Maybe this is Mother Earth. Who knows? Um, and then she, this is also some. Do you say an umbilical cord? I probably saying that totally wrong. But she's getting a child, and and um, so the Lord says of the the Duke. Um, 
I want you all to live in this bastard in my castle. So he sends her away and she's giving birth, but the child is being, you know, taken away by the by the maids or whatever. And, so, um, and because he ordered this and uh, he's never going to see her, da her daughter again because it was a daughter and she was, you know, all in tears. And then years later, he, um, he's going to marry her. And it looks really cool, I must say. Uh, so uh, the Duke says... I'm not sure if he's a duke, but let's for for continuing the story's sake, let's call him a duke um, or baron. Um, it's our wedding and you are wearing black. I mourn, she says. Too bad. I'm, I'm celebrating. <laughs> he's a bastard. He's a, he's, a, he's a son of a, you know. So um, he says, as a husband, I must give you a wedding present. Ask me anything you want. Give me back my child. You know I can't do that. And um, ask me somewhere or something else. And then she says, oh, I know what I want. Your head on a plate. <laughs> and this priest here or bishop is, you know, um, receiving the, how do, how do you say it? Talking about the right, the, the, the wedding vows, etc. And uh, <laughs> he says, you honestly want my death, do you? Well, a woman often poisoned her husband with, in my family. So he goes through it. So the, the bishop says, hey, do you want to marry this woman? Uh, make your wife? He says, I do. And, uh, and he says, Elizabeth Baffery, do you take this man as your husband? I don't care. And she drinks the wine and they are bonding now as a I don't know, man and husband. And um, <laughs> she, he, he kisses her and you see the disdain and disgust in her eyes. Um, Really cool. Um, but he also talks about uh, if he was not in her life. And um, he says, I got the Saint Istvan's blood in my veins. And if not for my father's deeds, there would be, have been a mosque or a mosque in the place of this church. And you want to end this bloodline? And he speaks Latin and she speaks um, Hungarian and then Latin again. So they're having a conversation and he, she wants to challenge him. Basically vowing, quote unquote, that he, she wants to kill him. But uh, he's taken it way too lightly. And uh, so he explains the importance of his bloodline and that his father was a great, uh, uh, great ruler or a great fighter, a great warrior. He says, my father fought with intelligence. He defended Buddha without any bloodshed. War is like a chess game. You move forward all your pieces showing off with your bravery. Or you can win with a single pawn. Um, that's great. That's awesome. I, I am also really liking this, this atmosphere and the color scheme that, the, that the, well, the writer and maybe well the whole creative team uh, has put together. It complements everything very well. Like I said, the colors are nice. Um, the atmosphere is great with all these people in the background having a, you know, having a feast, enjoying the wedding, uh, all these great pieces around. And uh, yeah, you feel that you are actually in that time period. That's really well done. But then she is leading him to the forest. And he says, why? I'm, he said, what are you doing? What am I doing here? I'm taking you to play chess. Black queen moves. Checkmate. So I thought, oh man, she's going to kill him. But no, that's not what she's going to do. She is having um, intercourse with it. Oh, I'm, I cannot show you this because there's nudity in here. And again, probably symbolism here. Um, I believe Latin. And uh, this looks great. We have the bloodline of Baffery here, of Elizabeth. And we have the bloodline of, what's his name? Nas Nas Nasdi. But also some different things like... Skull and teeth or claws. Awesome. And then we have all these things in the trees, like apples and this swan. I don't know what that means. Is this Latin? I don't know. But it looks great. Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm totally on board with this comic. I, it, it, it checks my boxes and because I'm, you know, looking for always something new that piques my interest. And sometimes you find stuff like this, and I'm, I'm very happy with that. I I've, should have done that way, way, way sooner. Um, I'm really enjoying this whole series. So there's only one issue, unfortunately, to go after this. So maybe there will be a vault too, maybe not. But uh, 
I think the creative team is is doing a bang up job, selling you that this woman is totally crazy, and uh, you know I'm I'm really want to know what's what's coming in the next issue. But we are not there yet because the Baron slash well, well whoever he, what his title is says well it gives uh, Elizabeth a, a, a castle, and uh, he says well you'll be safe here, and here are the documents. The castle is yours. And uh, <clears throat> but then she says, "I want you to bring your father's library here, but those are forbidden books. So what?" And uh, but she wants to have them. And um, I've been told what to do my entire life. It's my castle now, and I do whatever I please here. And I want my tapestries to be red. And she doesn't also want lilies in the house. Ha! <laughs> and then the Baron is very pleased. He says, "My wife's word is the law." Um, she still wants to kill you, dude. <laughs> and um, she says, I'm planning to change everything here. <laughs> and then she says, women, give them the right and they will change the world. Yeah, well, probably true. Somewhat. Um, but she also says, uh, well, she, uh, she talks about the thing that I'm not really understanding because um, she says this. We defend... Lufus idea in order to stop worshipping idols and listening to poisonous priests. This is not what Devai Matthias taught us. Um, I don't know who that is. Maybe some Hungarian priest, lord? I don't know. Teachings? Not entirely sure. Um, maybe I had to, you know, Google that or something, you know, digging some, some background story about that before I made this video. But alas, let's move on. So she, turn, she t turns it upside down and, um, and she blames her husband that, she, that he has organized a pointless religious wedding. But he says the ceremony is part of the tradition. With such traditions, we are no better than the Catholics and even the Orthodox. Your father would have been ashamed. Um, okay. And then she hears a sound and there is a woman being whipped. And uh, she comes out and stops the guy that does it, does it, you know. And he says, uh, oh, um, what are you doing? And um, uh, I, I warn you, my lady, this is Darvula, a notorious gypsy witch. Also, she, he says that she is ugly, etc. And um, she says, shut up and release her. And then the, so the Baron comes out and said, what are you doing? Your job. You rule an army soon and you must learn how to establish discipline. Discipline is born out of respect, he says. Ha! I never thought my husband would be so naive. True discipline, honor, loyalty are born out of fear. And only out of fear. Okay, this is interesting. And um, so he asks her later why she is freeing this, this, you know, this woman. She says, uh, what are you trying to prove? Nothing. I need a handmaiden. This girl will serve me well. I just saved her life. <laughs> okay, so um, she's been ordered to, you know, to go to her, to the chambers of um, of Elizabeth, but uh, the Baron is getting, uh, you know, has some some, some two people, um, and they give him a, a note. The Hungarian kingdom needs your service. They say, Hungarians, Wallachians, Croatians, Moldovans, Serbs. Another nobleman. We all fight against a common enemy. But the army is disjointed. People speak different languages. Pray to different gods. Only a symbol will unite us. And that symbol is you. Um, accept the sword and lead us. Okay, so he's going to war. Well, Elizabeth stays here with the, with the witch. And she's being cleaned. Or cleaning herself. Um, so Elizabeth asks her, Are you really a witch? So they call me. Why? I know the secrets of healing, but she also says that she has never studied them, but she just knows them. And um, she also says that she can make people young and again. That sounds like magic, uh, like magic. I don't believe in magic. I only believe in miracles. Isn't that a little bit the same? Well, okay, maybe not. Um, but she says, I can do no divine miracles. There is only magic and I can prove it. Um, but then she also says that, um, why did you spare me? She asked Elizabeth. 
And she says, there's something about you, witch Davulia. I'll be honest with you, mistress. People call me a witch due to my appearance. They fear your scar? No, they fear my beauty. People gave me this scar to look at me without lust. And then her husband comes in and he's saying that he's going to war and he needs a blessing. <laughs> and that's the end of the book. And that goes into this one. Uh, uh, great stuff, man. Great storytelling. And uh, yeah, it, it keeps you hooked. And I think that's, um, that's a big compliment to the writer. Um, that if you are making a, a comic and then you keep throwing seeds at, uh, at me. And then the seeds is so interesting that I want to know more and more and more. Yeah, then you're doing a very good job also here with the, with the cross. I think this is a great book. So if you guys are interested in something totally different, this is the one. Guys, thank you so much for watching. Hope you liked the video. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.